Let's see what's on TV. Let's watch the news. Breaking news. If you're looking for eggs for Easter today, two clucking bad, because you're not gonna find any due to a nationwide egg shortage. Sir Topham had reports. Two clucking bad in deep city of Truro. So Mr. Chicken, why are you so angry? Well, I'm too angry. That's why I don't want to lay eggs. But Mr. Chicken, we need eggs for Easter. Okay, well how about putting kids in omelets, and big scrambled kids? And how about we paint your kids and throw them out the yard for us chickens to find on Easter? Well, what can we humans do to make your life better? Well, hey cameraman, take this. Whoa. Come on. That's just rude. And also, why did the chicken cross the road? How about it's none of your business? How about that day the car ran out of petrol, and I had to cross the road to get the petrol, okay? Well, apologies for that. How about everybody stop eating eggs? Thomas, how are we gonna get eggs for Lady and Timothy? They aren't. They're just gonna understand that things in life don't work out. Mwah, We don't understand things. Kids, stop crying. There's no eggs in the world. You're gonna have to accept that. Thomas, you're gonna have to find some eggs. Where? Tell me where. I don't know, but you have to go. Ugh, fine. All right, kids. My friend just called and told me there's a load of eggs. Really? All right, Lady and Timothy, I got you eight eggs, four each. Thomas, those aren't eggs, those are balls. I know, but they look like Easter eggs, so they're not gonna know the difference. Um, Dad, these are balls. No, they're not, they're Easter eggs. Okay then, do you mind if we eat them? You can't eat these, these are edible eggs to paint for Easter. Let's see if they crack. See, they didn't crack, which means these are not real eggs. Rosie, tell them they're eggs. Thomas, I will not lie to the kids. See? Now get some real eggs. I can't. There's an egg shortage. Dad, if you don't give us some real eggs, we will start screaming again. Thomas, go back to the supermarket and don't come back until you find some real eggs. There are no real eggs. Well, go find some anyway. Worst daddy ever. Man, I can't wait for this omelette competition. I know I'm gonna win. Hey Percy, do you have any spare eggs? Um, yes, why? Is it okay if I borrow a couple of eggs? No, sorry Thomas. I'm using it for an omelette competition today. What? But Percy, there's an egg shortage. I know. Ha 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 ha. Can I just borrow one? No, I need all of them to make the biggest omelette possible. But Percy, I'll do anything for you, my friend. How about you enter the competition with me, Thomas? I heard they're winning a basket of eggs already painted. Wanna do that? How do I get eggs? Call a chicken, get a box of free range eggs, and then win the omelette competition. Great idea, thanks, Percy. No problem. Oh, that's what you think a chicken sounds like, but this is what you sound like. Look, I need a favor from you. I need some eggs. Oh, and what do I get out of it? Um, here, here's 20 pounds. Oh, thanks. And here's your eggs. Thanks. Now I can win that omelette competition. Better get cooking. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Happy Easter. Hello, and welcome to the annual omelette competition. Our contestants today is Thomas and Percy, and we're about to test the omelettes. So, Percy, how does your omelette look like? It's cooked properly. Let's see. Delicious. I'm giving that a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Why? The omelette is not big enough. Sorry, a 9 out of 10. What the heck? I put loads of eggs on. So Thomas, how does your omelette taste like? It's cooked properly. Let's see. 
Well, folks, I can announce the winner. It is... Thomas. Yes, I am the winner. That's not fair. I should be the winner, because I put more eggs on than Thomas. Oh, stop whinging, Percy. Come and collect your prize outside. Thank you very much. Happy Easter, Percy. Yo, whatever, mate. You're just jealous cause I won and you didn't, loser. Oh shut up Thomas. Oi, don't tell me to shut up for goodness sake. Yay, colorful eggs. Are you happy kids? We're indeed. We love our colorful eggs. This is the best Easter ever. We're glad you enjoyed it. Have fun with your colorful eggs. Hey Rosie, we'd do anything for our kids. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.